welcome to a new episode of Versus. Today we will take a closer look at the old generation Airbus A330 in the old house colors of Airbus and the new generation Airbus A330-300 from Lufthansa. And if we look at the boxes straight away we can see of course some differences. If we start by looking at the new generation we have the standard design with an image and some information. Now if you look at this box and turn it around well, you can see it's pretty much the same on both sides. There's really no backside. The reason for that is because the additional information that you normally have is on the side, which is a bit unusual, but in this case, they put it here. But that's really not something that is usual when we compare the old generation and new generation. In this case, it's simply because the layout for the design on the old generation aircraft is very special. Now when we take a closer look at the aircraft themselves, there will of course be some differences in delivery, but as always we don't really look at delivery. What we do look at are the details, also the details of the print, but delivery itself we ignore as always. And here we have the two beautiful aircrafts. Once on the left side we have the old generation and on the right side we have the new generation. And as always, there are some details or some differences between those two aircraft models that are very easy to spot. And one of them are the difference in height. Although on those two models, it's not as bad as it could be. But as always, the old generation aircraft is a bit higher than the new generation. And that's, of course, because of the landing gear. And if we take a closer look at the landing gear, we can see the difference in details not just on the landing gear itself, but also on the fuselage. Now we have seen in previous episodes that the old generation aircraft actually are pretty good compared to the new generation and they're only missing a few details. This time I'm afraid to say that it's not the case. The old generation aircraft fails to deliver any details. In fact, the absence of details is astonishing and when you take the aircraft and put it next to a new generation aircraft, it just becomes much more clear how many details actually are missing. And here is an example. This is the new generation. Just look at the details here. We have the doors to the cargo compartment. We have some nice details on the windows. Now look at this. No cargo doors, basically no details. We have the windows, but not even a few details in the windows. And the doors are just blank. It becomes even worse when we take a closer look here. Just look at that absolutely blank, no details whatsoever. When we then go to the horizontal stabilizer, we can also of course see a massive difference. I mean, it's like day and night. Although it's, to be fair, not unusual for the old generation to look like this. So it's not something uncommon and specific for this aircraft. And when we then look at the wings, the old generation almost starts to redeem itself. The details are still less than in the new generation, but considering the age of this aircraft model, it's okay. Now a detail where the old generation actually manages to match the new generation are the engines. Now if you look here, we can see on both engines the fan blades. And actually it's easier to see on the old generation than on the new generation. In this case it's simply because of the slight difference in the engines, because they have two different engine types. And then the grey colour on the old generation makes it easier to see on the light here than in the new generation engine. But they have both pretty detailed engines, which is really nice. Now it's pretty obvious which of those two aircraft is the better. There's no doubt that it's the new generation, but this time it's not even a close second for the old generation. The only detail that indeed could match the new generation were the engines. Everything else was a clear loss. But is the old generation a bad aircraft model? Well, to be fair, I don't really think so. I mean, it's the Airbus house color, so there might be some details missing simply because of the fact that it's the Airbus house colors and not a specific airline livery where there might be some more details. But still, it's a bit disappointing. And if I was to choose an old generation aircraft to buy, I would not go for this one. But what about you? Would you consider to buy an old generation aircraft today? I mean, there are some advantages. If you not go completely crazy about some missing details, then the old generations are way cheaper than the new generations. Let me know in the comments below if you actually would consider buying an old generation instead of a new generation aircraft. And with that question, we have reached the end of this episode. 
Now I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, feel free to leave a like and if you're new around here, why not hit the subscribe button, that would be absolutely awesome. Now thank you very much for watching, I'm checking out, see you soon and bye. Oh, <laughs>